Hello my friends! Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Lexi and today we're doing a whip and chat. Whip stands for work in progress. If you're new to my channel what we do is we work on our work in progress and we just have a little chat. Um, so you can listen to this while you're working on your craft or maybe you're running errands Maybe you're are trying to fall asleep. Maybe you're relaxing by the pool or doing yard work or something like that. <laughs> anyway, it's just a little chat. So let me put my microphone closer. I hope that you can hear me okay. <laughs> um, this is a new-ish setup. Um, I am using a new phone. Not a new phone. I'm using a different phone to record on. Um, and so I am hoping that it looks and sounds okay. Let me know in the, in the uh, comments if it doesn't. <laughs> so we'll get into it. I am working on Paisley. I'll pop a little photo up uh, so that you can see what Paisley looks like. This is by Jasmine Beckett Griffith and the canvas is from Craftably. I'm using quite a few things. I'll run through them quickly. I am using some pens here. I've got two from Peachy Keen. This one is from C'est Plus Beau et Tour. I'll link them down below. I'm using a pretty placer for my AB drills. My little trinket tray here is made by me. This is actually a twinkle tray that lights up. These are available on my website. I think they're currently showing sold out, but they'll be restocked soon. I just got some tweezers here. I am using a very, very beautiful cover minder. Somebody actually made this and sent this to me, and I'm blown away. This was like the first thing that um, somebody sent to me, like just out of the blue. Like <laughs> it arrived, and I was like, oh my gosh. And so, yeah, uh, she made this for me. I don't want to say their name because I'm not sure if they would like me to, but thank you so much <laughs> for sending that to me. It's so sweet. I absolutely love it. I'm using a little uh, trash minder for my trash drills. This was made by me. These are available on my website too. I'm using um, some wax. Um, this is, um, oh my goodness, why can I not think of the name? <laughs> patty wax and super sticky patty wax. I have it on a little tray here. Look how cute this is. It's a little uh, dog surrounded in flames and he says this is fine this is like my motto in life it's fine everything's fine it's fine <laughs> so yes I have that sitting up there I'm using a drill tray by uh, cat proof diamond painting trays and then I'm also gonna take this bad boy out for a spin this is I got um, something I got from Timu it has multiple trays inside one big tray so we're gonna test this out to see if I like it for confetti I already put um, some APs in there and I was working on these little flowers up here so anyway oh I'm also in my pens using some putty from uh, it's pity putty from paintingwithpitties.com I will link that down below as well okay so let's get into it how are you guys how is it going I hope everybody's having a great week so far it is Wednesday for me which means I'm halfway through my work week. <laughs> uh, I wish that I was more than halfway through my work week. It's been, I don't know, it's been a week for sure. Last week was a week, this week is a week. I'm not complaining. It's just busy is all. And um, busy and a little bit stressful, but work is supposed to be stressful. That's why it's called work. It's not supposed to be easy or otherwise it wouldn't be work. <laughs> <laughs> I am still down on this little corner of Paisley, um, which in last week's Whip and Chat, I was on this corner. I have not been able to work on this. I, um, well, for several reasons. I have been trying to um, finish up on trays that I'm making. I have a lot of custom orders. So um, if you are... Um, have reached out to me to make a custom order. You may already know this, but I have um, just been kind of telling people that it's going to be a while before I can take um, 
or start custom orders. I'm still, I, I'm happy to take a custom order, but I'm just letting people know it's going to be a while <laughs> uh, before I can start on it. So I just want to be transparent with people about that. Um, so yeah, so I didn't get to do a lot of diamond painting just because I have been trying to uh, just get those finished up. And then uh, the other thing is I was actually also working on some bookmarks for my mom. She, I had made her a bookmark for Mother's Day and she really loved it. And then she wanted it for her friends in her book club and so I said I would make them for her so I did that this tray they don't shake out great and I was trying to use a little brush and I don't know I don't know how I feel about it so anyway uh yeah so I um when I have free time I've been working on those but those are done now I just sealed them I gotta ship them out to her uh but yeah that was fun. I like those little bookmarks. They're really cute. And they do make good presents. So if you have a reader in your life, <laughs> I do recommend those. I'll um, link those below where I got those from. I actually got them on Amazon. I had purchased them previously from, I think, like FG Normal, maybe. Um, but then I ended up just getting the additional set from... Amazon because I needed them quickly. <laughs> so, yes. So, yeah. So, I hope I hope everybody's doing well. Let me know down below how you're doing, how you're going. <laughs> my, um, my brother and my sister-in-law live in Australia. Um, my sister-in-law is Australian and my brother moved there to, uh, you know, uh, be with his wife <laughs> and um in Australia they always say how are how are you going <laughs> and I love that I think it's so cool so sometimes I say it because like I'm used to them saying it to me and then I wonder do people think I'm accidentally saying going instead of doing or I don't know do people know do other people say that how are you going <laughs> I don't know I like it I think it's cool so I'm very excited. I get to see my brother and my sister-in-law very soon when we go to England. I haven't seen them in quite a while. Uh, the last time I saw my brother and his wife in person was uh, when the Cubs won the World Series. <laughs> and I can't remember what year that was. Um, was that in 2016, I think? Or 2017, maybe. That was the last time I saw my brother in person. <laughs> So I'm, I've seen him multiple times on, uh, you know, video chats and whatnot, but that's kind of different. I haven't really hung out with him, so I'm excited and I absolutely love his wife. I think she's cooler than he is. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I think they're both pretty cool, but, uh, yeah, I just love his wife. She's really cool. And, uh... Yeah, anyway, <laughs> I'm getting very excited about traveling. I have been trying to put together outfits and different stuff uh, to get ready to go. Um, I am a little bit nervous about my granddad. So, um, if you recall, um, my, so I told, like, kind of the story about my nan previously um, my nanny passed away in February, and I'm going to try to tell the story and not make it too sad, but my nanny passed away in February. All of my grandparents and all of my family, really, with the exception of my parents, live in, in England. My brother lives in Australia. I have other family scattered throughout. I have an uncle in, and cousins in New Zealand, um, and m my uncle and aunt. <laughs> I didn't mean to leave her out. My uncle, aunt, and my cousins <laughs> live in New Zealand, um... And I have, um, I have uncle and aunt and cousins who live, um, in America, and then everybody else primarily lives in England. I have a cousin who I think lives part-time in India and part-time in England, but anyway. <laughs> um, 
anyway. <laughs> uh, so what was I saying? Oh, so, um, it was very hard because my nan was sick and it's very hard because we live in the States. My uncle lives in New Zealand. It's very hard to get over there and, um, and deal with things when you live in a different country and when you're no longer used to how the healthcare system operates over there. So we've lived in this country forever. Um, obviously, I don't even have an English accent anymore. I moved here when I was very young and lost my accent. Um, so I've lived here most of my life. And um, anyway... <laughs> Um, so my nan was very sick. We were struggling with getting her care. My granddad has dementia and he is okay for the most part. Like he could be pretty independent, but he gets a little bit confused sometimes. And he was getting, he was trying his best to take care of my nan. She had fallen and broken her hip. He was trying to take care of her. He loved my nanny so much. And, um, he felt like he wanted to be the one to take care of her. Of course, he loved his wife so much, you know. But I think that he was getting caregiver burnout and it was causing his dementia to worsen. Um, we did have um, caretakers going into the home and helping them. But the problem was, was that my granddad did not like for them to do that. He did not like... For anybody else to take care of my nan and so it was a battle we finally did get her um like just different various types of help um long story short she did end up in the hospital we were trying to get her into a nursing home and it just it ultimately just didn't work out the way that we thought it would and she passed away in the hospital so, um, we are having, so she passed away in February, but we are having her celebration of life this summer because we are all kind of scattered across the globe, New Zealand, America, and the UK. We, um, opted to make arrangements for a time when we knew everybody could come together we also needed time to plan it and just, you know, there's a lot of logistics involved in it. So it's coming up soon. We are going to be going there, but, um, my granddad has been, um, has been, uh, living alone now because his wife passed away and I I'm trying to like say this very matter of factly <laughs> so that I don't. I don't want this to be sad, and I don't want this to be an emotional whipping chat, because that's not what I'm trying to do here. So, if I sound like I'm just being very matter-of-fact, that's why. <laughs> um, so, he, is, he was living alone. He was doing okay, still having caretakers go in. That sounded like things were going okay. His dementia did start to improve when my nan was in the hospital, I think because he was getting better rest. And his caretaker burnout was lessening. Okay, so, but cut to now. Um, you know, we are, um, the family takes turns to, like, go and see him. We have family that is in the UK that can go and see him. Um, we have all of the neighbors in their street loved my nan and love my granddad. And so, there are neighbors um, that take them food. My mom organizes to have food delivered from Asda, which is the shop that they like there. Um, and um, my mom has arranged for, like, a person to take him fish and chips every Friday night and things like that. And so, and, and so, and people just take turns, like, visiting him and things like that. Well, recently we found out that um, he has developed... A condition on his legs and um, they're a little bit concerned that it might be skin cancer and so they wanted to have it biopsied. They also wanted him to have like this cream I guess. This is all like secondhand information and sometimes stuff gets like lost in translation so 
I'm not 100% sure <laughs> on the facts. Um, I Sometimes there is an urge for me to just fly over there and take over um, because I'm a nurse, because I have a medical background, but it's not necessarily my place to do that. And so I, I just try to hang back and offer my help, offer my support, um, and and be there when needed. <laughs> but uh, anyway. <clears throat> uh, anyway, so uh, they wanted to biopsy his legs. They wanted him to use this cream on his legs. I'm not sure what the cream is or anything like that, but he wasn't doing it. And that's the dementia, right? Like, he's just not he doesn't think anything is wrong with his legs. He won't let the caretaker, like, you know, take care of it. Um, so that's a struggle. So, um, I guess things kind of got worse. And so, thankfully, um, we were able to have a social worker intervene. And he is now in a nursing home for respite care. Which, it doesn't mean that that's forever. It just means for a little while, while they take care of his legs, get the biopsy done, and make sure he's stable. And then I think if he's stable enough to go home, he can. Um, that seems to be like the main focus of a lot of this stuff is if the person is independent enough and can safely be at home, they will allow that. Um, sometimes I, I question whether my interpretation of safe... <laughs> And their interpretation of safe maybe is different, but that's what we're working with. Um, and so, anyway, um, he, so he's in the nursing home right now. Um, so I, I just hope that he's okay and he's, he's getting along there. And so I just, I just feel a little bit nervous about it because I just want him to be okay. I don't want him to be scared or I know he's confused, so I can't say, like, I hope he's not confused, because I, I know that he's confused. Um, a lot of changes in the last few months. Um, his wife is gone, and now he's in a weird place, um, and not at his home that he li has lived in the majority of his life, you know. Um, so I, I can't wait to get over there and see him and just hug him and... Um, you know, tell him that I love him and make sure he's okay. And, um, I talked to my mom today and it does sound like they're taking very good care of him. They're being very kind and patient with him and they're making sure he gets everything he needs. So that is a relief, but you know, I still can't wait to see him. So that's good. <laughs> and if I'm laughing, it's cause I'm nervous laughing cause I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> so Anyway, <laughs> so that's what's going on on that front. Um, so, yeah, so it's um, it's kind of a weird feeling because, like, I'm excited to go to England. I'm excited to see my family. I'm excited to travel. But, you know, I'm nervous for my granddad. I'm sad about my nan. Um, a lot of emotions. <laughs> a lot of emotions that um, that I'm working on. So... Yeah, that's where diamond painting and self-care come in, though. <laughs> that to help me, like, with those, you know, I, it's a lot of stuff that I'm feeling, but, you know, this, uh, this is therapy to me. And thank you for listening, and I hope it's not too depressing <laughs> of a topic to talk about, but thank you for listening to me. And I feel like these little chats that we have really do help me, and, um, I don't know. I, I don't know if anybody else... Like, I feel like when I listen to other people talk about what's going on there in their life, it helps me. And, like, we're not having a back and forth conversation. You're not here with me in my room talking and answering back. But I read all of your comments and I appreciate everything that you, that you comment on my videos. Um, and uh, let's work on the green here. And, uh, you know, I, but like listening to other people's videos and vlogs, it's like, it helps me to know that I am not alone and 
I get ideas from other people. I get inspiration from other people. And I just, why I just really love YouTube. And YouTube really is like the main thing that I watch during the day. Like I just, I don't really watch TV except for, you know, we do watch TV on the weekends and uh, sometimes like at night after work. But, uh, you know, it's throughout the day I'm listening to YouTube. I listen to YouTube when I go to bed. It helps me fall asleep and it's like, I don't know. I just, I love to watch people that I can relate to. Um, I love to watch people that are real. I would, I would much rather watch a person, just a regular old person on YouTube versus some celebrity on TV. I just would. I, I would rather watch somebody who, you know, not even a YouTube celebrity. <laughs> um... You know, some, I'm not, and I'm, the next thing I'm going to say is not, it's not because, like, like, numbers don't matter or anything like that, but, like, I would rather watch somebody with, like, a hundred subscribers who I can relate to versus some big channel with a million subscribers. Like, I just, I like real people. I like people I can relate to, but I also like watching people that are different from me and seeing how, like, they live their life and, like, what is different about their life. You know, for example, I don't watch as much anymore, but I used to watch a lot of, um, there was kind of this trend, and I think it still is trendy, but, um, th for a long time, uh, maybe like in 2020, 2021, there was a lot of, um, it, it seemed to be specific to Korea, there was a lot of Korean vloggers who did these vlogs about like, oops, about what they would eat in a day and they would show themselves cooking um, these really fantastic meals and um, just showing how they would prepare it and, and then, you know, they would eat their, what they would eat in a day and they would show themselves like getting ready for work and things like that and they were fantastic. I don't watch them as much anymore, and it's not because I don't like them. I, I actually really love those channels, um, but I had to stop watching them because it <laughs> it kind of influenced me to want to eat <laughs> a lot of the stuff that they were eating, and um, some of the stuff I don't need to be eating. <laughs> like, I really love ramen. That is one of my favorite foods of all time, and uh, right now I'm on... I'm on my little low carb journey. <laughs> like, I can't be uh, influenced to uh, be eating carbs right now. <laughs> so I kind of had to reel that in and stop watching those because I was like, I gotta, all this delicious food, it's making me want to eat. <laughs> so, but I really do like those channels. But just to see somebody like in their day to day life, what they do during their day to day life is so interesting to me. And that's, you know, it's so funny because that's what I love about traveling too. Like when I go to England, well, part of it is nostalgia for me because I'm from England, but, um, but I'm like this when I, when I go other places too. Um, but when I go to England, like I love to do the little day to day things. Like I love going to the grocery store and seeing what's different. I love, um, I think I was talking about this in a different video. I love the little differences like in the road signs and the different packaging and the different ads on TV. Like, ugh, maybe that seems so mundane, but to me, it is interesting. I just love that kind of stuff. So, uh, I don't know. I find it fascinating. And there's some other channels. Um, I'm trying to think of what the one that I watched. Is. Some of these I had to stop watching because of like the food thing. Um, Oh, there's a channel. It's called Dumpling something. Um, is it called Only Dumplings? No. Oh, shoot. Something Dumplings. And um, the guy's name is Mikey Chen. And he travels all around the world and does different food. Like, that's his big thing is trying different food from different countries and it's just so fascinating to see um, different things. It's strictly dumpling. 
strictly dumplings, I think is what it's called. <laughs> uh, or simply dumplings, something like that. I will find it and link it below. <laughs> um, but just, he just travels to every, every country. Um, and he go like, just some of, like, the most fascinating ones was, like, he went to Japan or Korea and went to their Costco and showed, like, the difference in the Costco. And I'm like, oh, my God. Uh, I don't know. I just find it so interesting. <laughs> I don't know. I just love that stuff. And I, I guess that's why I just find YouTube so fascinating. Like, I would just rather watch a real person versus, like, fake stuff on TV. I don't know. Not that I don't enjoy a good movie or something, but, you know, even, like, the reality TV shows, I can't stand. Like, I, I just can't stand reality television. Um, I used to like, you know, I used to watch, like, Survivor and things like that, but now it seems like reality TV anymore is just, like, people, like, fighting or something. Like, like, I can't watch, um, what is, like, the Housewives show? Um, I know, it's, it's, is it called something Housewives, Real Housewives? Um, and then they have, like, different cities that they do it in, and it's just, like, I don't know, some of the stuff that I've seen, it just seems like it's them, like, having drama and fighting. <laughs> And I don't know. That's not my thing, really. Not as much. So, uh, yeah. So, but you know, on the, <laughs> on the topic of like the being real, being a real person thing, I do have like something that has been kind of like weighing on me <laughs> recently and it is interesting that it comes up, like, around, like, Pride, Pride Month and, like, just, I don't know, like, just something I've been thinking about, um, you know, because we're talking about, like, you know, being proud, being proud of being yourself and creating a safe space for people and, um, you know, being proud, being proud of who you are and, not having to hide who you are. And it kind of, you know, it's been getting me, like, I don't know. It has me thinking about stuff and, like, not just this month and not just, not just in the context of, like, Pride Month, but, like, all the time, right? Like, <laughs> we should be proud of ourselves all the time, no matter who you are. Um, and I always want to be like authentic and I always want to make sure that I make a space where other people can be their authentic selves and something that I have like um something that's been weighing on me though is how do I make sure that I'm being my authentic self and I'm creating a safe space for other people to be their authentic selves without sacrificing, like, being myself. And so that might sound confusing, <laughs> so let me explain. <laughs> I feel like I try hard on my channel to keep things, like, very appropriate for, like, what my channel is. My channel is about, primarily about diamond painting. And when I first started my channel, my vision was for my channel to be sort of about, um, yes, diamond painting, um, but at the time that I, I started my channel, I was really focused on just kind of exploring like, mindfulness and how, um, how diamond painting has helped, like, my anxiety and different things that I was doing to make my life, oh, there's a little woodpecker outside, oh, he just flew away, I was gonna show you, shoot, you know, it was about ways that I was trying to make my life more 
um, calm, how I was trying to um, just be more mindful, reduce anxiety, um, and things like that. And it, yeah, it is primarily focused on, on diamond painting. But there's a lot more to me <laughs> than diamond painting. Um, so when I do a video, like a whip and chat, um, you know, it's, I come on here and I do my diamond painting and, uh, there's only certain things I talk about. I'm not going to, yeah, I try to be very considerate about what I talk about. Um, I'm not going to share anything overly personal. I don't ever want to share anything that I think might, like, trigger another person. And I also don't get on here and start swearing <laughs> or using bad language, typically. <laughs> and it's not because I don't swear. Uh, if you heard me in my real life, you would, uh, probably be shocked because I just don't swear on my channel out of respect for my viewers. I, and it just doesn't fit, right? Like it just wouldn't make sense if I was on here, like, you know, rrr, 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 F this and F that, like it just wouldn't make sense. <laughs> That's not what this channel is about. <laughs> um, and I, you know, it's just like a respect thing. There's all different people that watch my channel. Um, my channel is not for children whatsoever, but I do understand that maybe some people could be watching my channel and have their children running around in the background and they might hear it. So, like, you know, I try to consider those things when I film my videos. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I'm not, um, I'm not perfect. <laughs> I've lived kind of a crazy life <laughs> that I might talk about someday, like, in a separate video. Uh, I've lived kind of a crazy life. I've had a very imperfect life. Um, I've had, I don't know, I think, like, that kind of stuff probably makes me a little bit more relatable because nobody's perfect. <laughs> I'm guessing there's probably some people listening that probably could relate to some of the stuff I've been through. Um... You know, I do swear in... Oh, my postman's here. <laughs> uh, I didn't think he was coming today. I... My husband must have a package that is going out. I didn't think he was coming today. Anyway. <laughs> I would have organized for him to pick up more packages had I known. Anyway. Uh, yes. So, um... Anyway, so, you know, I, in my real life, I, I tend to be a little bit more rough around the edges, probably. And, uh, I think on my live streams, I am a little bit more loose with what I talk about. I try not to swear on my live streams either, but, you know, it might slip out a little bit here and there. <laughs> um, but I think, like, oh, Scout's gonna get to barking now, because somebody's here. Um, can you hear her? <laughs> I apologize. Let me, uh, not talk while she's barking. Okay, I think she should settle down now. <laughs> she gets very angry when anybody comes here. <laughs> um, so yeah, so what was I saying? So, yeah, not a perfect person. <laughs> and, uh, a little rough around the edges, maybe. Um in my real life, and if you heard the things that me and my husband joke about, you would <laughs> probably be shocked, that type of thing. And in my live streams, I do tend to be a little bit more loose, but, um, I still try to keep it respectful for the most part, but to me, like, live streams feel like a party. <laughs> I feel like I'm telling you guys, like, come on into my house, we're gonna have a party, we're gonna hang out. <laughs> And we're all going to talk. And that's the, kind of the way I run it. It's like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty laid back. <laughs> I kind of have a weird sense of humor. Um, I am a nurse and we tend to, uh, have dark sense of, 
a dark sense of humor anyway. I think you kind of have to, uh, to be a nurse because you deal with some pretty heavy stuff. And, um, I've also just been through a lot of stupid stuff in my life. (laughs) And I, I just think I've developed kind of like, I don't know, not a lot of stuff offends me. There really isn't anything you could say to me that would offend me. Like, when I think about, like, just, you know, going back to, like, the being the nurse thing, like, I've had, (laughs) I've had patients say the worst things that you could imagine to my face, and I've also had patients try to kill me (laughs) before, so it's like, there's not really anything that anybody could ever say to me (laughs) that would hurt my feelings. (laughs) Um, but you know, that being said, I really am, I am a sensitive person though. And, you know, I try to be sensitive of other people's feelings. I would certainly never want to hurt somebody else's feelings. I do feel like I'm a considerate person. Um, and so, you know, I, I want to make sure that everybody feels comfortable on my channel and, uh, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, but I also just want to be me. I can only be me. I really don't think that I can fake, (laughs) uh, being something that I'm not. And so I guess, uh, I feel like I've rambled on, but what I'm trying to say is I I can only be me. And I'm not going to try to be something that I'm not. And I I do try my hardest to be a safe space for everybody. I try to, you know, I try to keep things as, do I want to say neutral? <laughs> I guess I just want things to be fun. I want everybody to feel welcome. I don't ever want to like alienate people or make people feel like they can't come to my channel but at the same time I'm always gonna be me (laughs) and for a brief second last week I thought about like changing the way I do things in my live streams and I I actually thought about stopping live streaming And then I was like, I can't do that. Um, I have to be me. And um, if you like my content and you like my live streams, thank you so much. There are so many people that do. There's so many people that tell me that they like my videos, that they like my live streams. I think a lot of people really have fun, um, you know, chatting with each other. I don't even know that it's necessarily me that they like. I think a lot of people just like coming into the chat room and talking to each other, you know. Um, And so as long as people are enjoying it, I will keep doing it. Um, And if I'm not somebody's cup of tea, I think that's okay. Um, It's a little bit hard for me to deal with (laughs) because I want I think it's human nature. Like, you want people to like you. Um, And if you say that you don't care (laughs) if people like you or not, I think that's kind of, I don't know. I think everybody wants to be liked. (laughs) I want to be liked. And I certainly, I know that I can't make everybody like me. I know that's unrealistic. And I know that I'm not everybody's cup of tea. But I never, ever want to make anybody, like, feel bad or feel uncomfortable. So, that's never my goal. So, at the very least, I I don't want people to, like, feel uncomfortable. (laughs) Uh, That is never my goal. But if I am am not your cup of tea, that's okay, too. (laughs) And so, I just... My message is, be you, and I'm going to be me, (laughs) and, you know, we should be considerate, considerate of other people's 
feelings and um and certainly how we act towards other people but n- but also being true to ourselves and um not letting that be a detriment to to our own selves we have to be true to to ourselves and who we are so that's kind of been weighing on me a little bit <laughs> I've totally messed this up. Look. Oh my goodness. I squished all these in here. I was trying to go under the plastic, which was not because I was being impatient. (laughs) Look how pretty. I think these ABs uh, do look pretty here. I added these in. These did not come with the kit, um, but I just wanted to kind (laughs) of place some extras in here. So I think those look cute. So I feel like I've blabbed on and on and on. I am so sorry. (laughs) Um, Let's get to our giveaway. Oh, actually, before we do this, let me show you my new phone case that I got. So you do have to look up for a second, but look. It's very blingy. I'm in my blingy rhinestone era where I just want everything to have bling on it. (laughs) So. Um, we're going to do our giveaway. If you were here last week, you know that we are doing a giveaway for Diamonds and Diversity. Um, the rules for Diamond and Diversity are, um, to be eligible for gifts, you have to have filled out the Google form, which will be linked down below. And then we picked a code word. Last week's code word was, um, Devin. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and this week we're giving away a Diamond Art Club gift card. So I will draw the name based on that code word. Okay. So let's go ahead and we will draw our winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay. Oh, no. My poor Scouty is crying. Why are you crying, babe? Okay, so we're going to go to last week's whip and chat. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay. So we're going to grab the link. And then we're going to go to... Baby, don't cry. You can come in here. Come here. I don't know why she's crying. Okay, we're going to go to our random comment picker. We're going to put the link in here. And we have to solve our little problem here. I know. Why are you crying? Crazy girl. (gasps) We have 43. 43 comments on last week's Whip and Chat. Thank you so much. That is awesome. I appreciate it so much. So based on that, we will draw our winner. And our winner is NC Mom Life. Congratulations to you. And she says, hey, Lexi, I am in love with your diamond painting pen. (laughs) I've been diamond painting since 2019. All right. It has helped me with my mental health so much. Yes, me too. Let me go to her comments so I can read the whole thing. Uh, Okay. Um, I've been, and it's helped me with my mental health so much. Thank you for all you do. Oh, thank you so much, NC Mom Life. Well, you will be getting a Diamond Art Club gift card. So what I will do is I will reach out to Diamond Art Club. I will give them your email address and then they will hook you up from there. So it will actually be coming from Diamond Art Club, not myself. So congratulations, NC Mom Life. So we will get that set up. Um, I will be emailing them with um, the winner from my whip and chat. And then also once Brie draws the name for hers, I will send them together in one email. So, alrighty. So we have to talk about our next uh, giveaway. So our next giveaway is from one of our lovely sponsors, Kiona's Corner. And Kiona has a small shop on Etsy. Let's pull her up, shall we? Let me, we've got the technology. We can do it. (laughs) all of our sponsors are um linked down below 
underneath my videos and Bree's videos. So make sure you go check out Bree's videos as well because she does giveaways on her channel and her videos are great. Let's go to Kiona's shop. So this is Kiona's corner and she's got some really cute stuff on here. Look, she's got these fro froggy wax minders. This is so cute. Look at the rainbow. So let's see what she says about these. Oh my gosh. Item details. Okay. Wax minders are specialty items to wipe off your wax residue after reloading your diamond painting pen to avoid getting wax residue on your drills. Froggy wax minders use their eyes to help wipe away their residue. Oh, that's really cool. Okay. So it's got a magnet on it and it's made with uh, resin. That is such a good idea. So you put it on your, on your canvas, like you would, uh, you know, any cover minder, but the idea behind this is that you use it to, uh, just get that icky residue off your pen so that you don't get it onto your drills. That is so cool. Let's go back and look at what else she's got in here, shall we? I was interested in these. What are these? Oh, these are the frames. I always wondered where people got these from. <laughs> uh, so diamond painting section frames. I always see people using these and I don't ever know where they get them from. And this is where you can get them from. Kiona's Corner. So you put these on your canvas um, instead of sectioning it off with the release paper or the washi tape like I do, you can use these little frames and then look, you can uh, label them with numbers or letters or numbers and letters. That is so cool. Let's see what the description says on this. An alternative to washi tape and release paper sectioning section frames stick to the top of your clear uh, plastic cover on your diamond painting and they're reusable. Oh, that's nice. Just place it on the plastic and then cut the plastic around the frame as you would washi. That's so cool. I always wondered where people got these from. <laughs> so that's cool. So let's see what else does she have other things in here? So she's got all different sizes of those, um, cover, um, frames. Those are so cool. Oh yeah. Look, she's got some stickers. I love this one. I think I need to get this one. It says, don't panic, and it's a dumpster fire. I love that. <laughs> uh, literally me. <laughs> I love that. Oh, look at the little trash minder. That's a cute one. Very cute. So that's Kiona's shop. Oh, look at these, the little trinket box. So it looks like these are resin, I think, and it's a little trinket box or jewelry box. Those are cute. So yeah, she's got some really cute stuff on there. So please go check her out. She's one of our uh, fantastic uh, sponsors. So she is next for our giveaway. So we will be giving away a, an item from Kiona's shop. So we will draw, oh my goodness, you guys, I kicked you all over the place, sorry. Um, so we will be drawing uh, next week for that prize, and let's pick a code word. Um, since we were talking about being true to yourself, let's use the word self in uh, the comment down below. So the word is self, S-E-L-E. F as in Frank, self. So use that in a comment down below. Make sure you have filled out the Google form if you want to be eligible for prizes. That form just helps, oh my goodness, sorry, I'm knocking everything over. Uh, that form just helps us be organized, know where to send the prizes, and know how to contact you if there's any kind of issue or, or we just need to ask you a question or, you know, something like that. So um, all of your information is... Um, private will not be shared with any third party anything like that so please don't worry and then once the event is over we will be um getting rid of that information and we will not be storing it so 
Alrighty. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed today's whip and chat. I feel like it was a lot, <laughs> but it was good. It was very good. I enjoy these chats. I will see you tomorrow night on my live stream, tomorrow being Thursday, <laughs> uh, 7 p.m. Eastern time. So I will see you there. I hope you're having a great day. Bye.